Massachusetts junior Senator Scott Brown was asked last week why he opposed the president's financial reform bill. The senator did not know. He couldn't name a single thing that troubled him about the bill, a thing that he wanted changed. Instead, he asked the reporters for their ideas. As one source quoted him, what areas do you think should be fixed? I mean, you know, tell me, and then I'll get a team and go fix it. Tell me, Senator? The blogosphere was, of course, outraged at the senator, outraged that he could oppose something without even knowing why. But I think this outrage is a bit naive. For, of course, a senator can be independent, but just not too independent. And as the Think Progress organization reported, Wall Street and business executives gave almost half of the campaign contributions that Senator Brown received in his last election. And the Wall Street Journal also reported the U.S. Chamber of Commerce spent about a million dollars in issue ads to get Scott Brown elected. They oppose financial reform, so he opposes financial reform. Now, it's behavior like this that shows why there is absolutely no surprise when the Pew Research Center reports, as they reported this week, that trust in this institution is at its lowest point ever. 86% of Republicans and 81% of Democrats now believe that the influence of special interest is too great. Influence, which of course comes from campaign cash, cash which can't help but produce this marionette Congress. So whether it's Wall Street reform or reform to deal with coal plants spewing carbon into our atmosphere, what we need to see is that there will be no change until we change this. And the only way or at least the first step to getting this change, is the idea of a Republican more than 102 years ago, citizen-funded elections. And if you've heard these talks before, you know that there's a bill in Congress right now that would give us citizen-funded elections, the Fair Elections Now Act, a bill that now has 145 co-sponsors in the House and 17 co-sponsors in the Senate. This bill would produce a voluntary opt-in system to allow candidates to limit their contributions to small dollar contributions only. Now the anger and frustration reported by the Pew Center's report shows that we have an extraordinary opportunity here. We could get this now. If you go to our site, fixcongressfirst.org, you can use our tools to contact your representative to get your representative to support this extraordinarily important bill. And whether you're from Massachusetts or not, maybe the very first call that you should make using our tools should be to Senator Scott Brown to get him to support this reform to create true independence in the United States Congress. FixCongressFirst.org. Go there today. Thank you very much.